Gear down protection is another Cummins electronic feature that helps improve fuel economy. Gear down protection limits the maximum road speed you can achieve in one gear down from top gear. Vehicles are spec to run at cruising speeds in top gear. That's where fuel consumption is lowest because engine RPMs are lowest. Why is gear down protection important? Cruising one gear down can decrease your miles per gallon by as much as 16%. That's because the engine is running at higher RPMs in the lower gear. So by using top gear instead of one gear down, you can gain up to 16% in fuel economy. Over the course of a year for an average Class 8 truck, that can be worth about $9,600. Here's how gear down protection works. When operating one gear down from top gear, your maximum road speed is limited by the gear down protection settings. There are two different vehicle speed settings for gear down protection. The highest setting is typically set to a vehicle speed, which makes an easy transition into top gear. That might be 63 miles per hour. The low setting is the vehicle speed at which the truck will coast back to if you don't shift into top gear. That setting might be 54 miles per hour. However, you should still be able to comfortably shift into top gear at this lower vehicle speed. Jason Owens will describe when an operator notices gear down protection. If you're downshifting to overtake a slower vehicle on flat level ground, gear down protection is going to impede your acceleration usually around 52 to 54 miles per hour. In this scenario, it's best to stay into top gear and complete the pass in a timely manner. But will gear down protection ever interfere with your need for performance? Gear down protection is designed to limit your speed under light load conditions. So together, load based speed control and gear down protection allow you to get the most miles you can from a gallon of fuel. Load based speed control coaches you up through the gears and gear down protection encourages you to stay in top gear as long as you can. Time for another knowledge check. Gear down protection applies to which gears in a 10 speed transmission? 10th gear, 9th gear, or all 10 gears? Cummins gear down protection applies only to the gear one gear down from top gear. So in a 10 speed transmission, that would be ninth gear. Here's another question. You've got a 10 speed transmission and the gear down protection settings are 54 miles per hour and 63 miles per hour. You're running down the interstate and you drop down into ninth gear. Will your maximum speed be 54 miles per hour or 63 miles per hour? The correct answer is 54 miles per hour. This encourages you to stay in top gear for the best fuel economy. Cummins engines are designed with the capability to deliver varying levels of torque to help you meet the demands of various road conditions. If your engine is specced with smart torque, it is capable of delivering a constant 200 pound feet of extra torque in the top two gears. This can really boost performance in climbing grades. If your engine is paired with a Smart Advantage powertrain or an AMT transmission, it may be specced with Smart Torque 2. Smart Torque 2 allows a varying level of torque while meeting the demand of the current road conditions. With Smart Torque 2, the engine receives an incremental variable level of torque in potentially all transmission gears, but only when a combination of road grade vehicle mass and current gear requires extra power. By adjusting torque to varying levels in specific gears, the amount of fuel being consumed will be lower when it is not needed. As an example, if you are in the flat terrain of Kansas and operating between 60 to 80,000 pounds, odds are that the extra 200 pound feet of torque won't be needed to keep the vehicle cruising down the road. Therefore, when Smart Torque 2 is active, the engine might only produce 1450 or 1550 pound-feet of torque versus the 1650 or 1750 pound-feet. The lower torque reduces engine fueling and improves fuel economy. 
where Smart Torque 2 has the advantage is that when you're lightly loaded or bobtailing, Smart Torque 2 has the ability to reduce the available amount of torque because under those situations, you don't need the maximum torque that the engine can deliver. Smart Torque 2 saves additional fuel and also reduces your drive tire wear. Two settings for Variable Road Speed Cruise, or VRSC, exist for the Road Speed Governor and the Cruise Control electronic features. These settings are referred to as the Over VRSC and the Under VRSC. The Over VRSC setting allows you to achieve vehicle speeds in excess of the Target Cruise Control or Road Speed Governor settings. Essentially, it allows you to carry additional speed you pick up going downhill into the next grade. The under VRSC setting allows you to lose some speed while climbing grades before resuming fueling. This achieves better fuel economy versus continuously fueling to maintain the targeted road speed or cruise control speed. Your fleet can set the VRSC over and under values to be different when using the cruise control feature or the accelerator pedal. The over VRSC setting allows the truck to roll on out in a downhill situation. While the truck is rolling downhill, we'll give you up to six miles an hour additional speed to allow you to roll into the next uphill situation at a greater vehicle speed. The under VRSC setting actually slows the truck down in an uphill situation. While ascending that grade, we will take road speed away from you to save fuel. The end result is the average vehicle speed is greater than a truck that does not use over or under VRSC settings. If enabled, Smart Coast allows the Cummins engine and an AMT to coast at idle when you're heading down a grade. One thing you'll notice is that when Smart Coast is engaged, the cab will get really quiet due to less engine noise. As I've been driving this feature for a short while, I no longer notice when the Smart Coast feature is active. When Smart Coast is active, your gear display may flash a letter or a number, depending on your truck manufacturer, to let you know Smart Coast has engaged. If a number is displayed, that's the gear the transmission will select when you return from idle conditions. Smart Coast will disengage when you press the brake or accelerator pedal, when you disengage from cruise control, when the cruise over setting is exceeded, or when downgrades exceed 4%. Vehicle Acceleration Management, or VAM, limits the maximum acceleration rate of the vehicle. The feature is designed to be transparent to vehicle performance under normal loaded conditions. However, in lightly loaded, bobtail, or diminishing load applications, VAM will limit the maximum acceleration rate to mimic that of a fully loaded vehicle. VAM enables you to achieve target road speeds with a more constant acceleration rate while improving fuel economy and limiting driveline and tire wear. In loaded applications, you won't notice any change to the vehicle acceleration. Therefore, if you are in an operating condition where you know you are lightly loaded, but think the vehicle is accelerating slower than what you expect, VAM may be enabled. The VAM is not active when the vehicle is heavily laden, and in all circumstances, VAM will essentially turn itself off at speeds greater than 30 miles per hour. Engine protection is designed to protect the engine from progressive damage. The electronic control system monitors critical engine parameters and alerts you of unsafe engine conditions by triggering the stop or warning lamps. It also derates the engine for speed or power depending on the severity of the situation. It can even be set up to perform an engine shutdown if desired. 